Hi everyone, welcome to the last update for the financial year. The markets as expected saw huge short covering. There were a lot of open positions and the expiry went through reasonably smoothly, though there were some hiccups towards the end. The positivity from US markets from yesterday night, that was pretty helpful. Today's rally was a lot broader than yesterday's rally. The Bajaj Group stocks were on fire actually today. Reliance took a breather from yesterday's run. TCS was up, it covered nearly 1% today. TCS seems to be Nasdaq's proxy in India these days. If Nasdaq is down, TCS is down. If Nasdaq is up, then TCS goes up. Gold and BTC both are up right now. This is a little confusing for me. This kind of indicates that the euphoria right now in the US and India market may be short-lived. Usually, usually gold and Bitcoin are proxies for uncertainty. The DI data, green as usual, they have bought for all but two sessions. So 17 out of 19 sessions this month, DIs have been net buyers. The amount is 53,620 crores for the last month of the financial year. This is nearly $7 billion. FI data for the month was not very high, but overall they had 12 good sessions and seven times they sold. Overall, 3,000 crore, not a big amount. Now, most of us talk about the cash data for FIIs. This actually is not that interesting. I'll show you the look at the, I'll show you the options data of FIIs. If you look at the monthly number, there is a number of 2,6595 crores worth of selling in options market. I'm still trying to understand this data more because it clearly does not bifurcate put and calls for me. But this number is way higher than the cash number. And this is probably what determines the market flow. Now to understand the trend, I took a position yesterday, which I mentioned in yesterday's update. This is for next week's expiry, which I took. This was on the long side because I thought that the markets are gonna go up. This position was doing pretty well in the day. Nifty was going up and up and up, continuous uptrend. Now what happened was when I was looking at the open interest for the day at roughly 240, it seemed to me that the markets were peaking and there was no more buying evident from the open interest chart, which is shown on the right arrow. And there was a solid support at 22,300. Now at that point, I was around 5-6% profit on the trade in one day. The goal was 10% like I had mentioned. What I did was on a hunch, I reversed the trade, which means I went short. Now if you look at the graph, at 2.45, exactly 5 minutes after I took that decision, the markets reversed and fell a lot. Let me go back, 22,300 I had said as a support level, roughly around that level, there was a reversal again on the green side for the day. That is where I covered the short also. Overall, the trade had a profit of 3,000 rupees over three legs. Not a big amount, but if you think about the capital deployed, which was around 30,000 rupees, this is 10% profit in a day. I have been an option seller, which means I was collecting premium here. I was not paying premium. And this is not an advice. Note that I had thought of holding the position till next week's expiry, but I squared off the position in one day because of the market movements. So you need to be a professional trader to trade in FNO market. Now we are entering the long weekend. Next week will be a fresh new year. New positions are likely, like I mentioned yesterday, markets will enter the result season. Roughly 10th is when the results start. Election season, if you see any channel, it's on peak already. The main point I would be watching is now will FIIs continue to buy like this week or they will now resume their selling. This is the key point that will decide the course for the next month. One thing I would definitely want to watch out for is how many people are continuing with their SIP into the new financial year, especially after the fall and the stress test that was conducted in this month. I don't personally see any difference because the job data in India is okay. Not too many jobs being lost right now. People are still getting salaries. Right now, people are in a happy election mood. This will continue till at least May and or June. US stocks were positive yesterday. They are looking cheerful today also. The general cheer is because of the upward revision of GDP data that has been liked by the market. Long weekend on account of Good Friday coming up in India as well as US. So today is the last trading day in US also for this month. Inflation data will again be released soon. So market will now start watching for that. A three day week, but a very eventful week. Traders who are on the long side this week can celebrate over the weekend. I'll probably release another update over the weekend talking about what will likely happen on Monday. Till then, have a great weekend. Thanks for watching.